Okay, so this has become one of those things where I've done this video several times and it just does not upload or whatnot. Um, yeah, okay, this is to Qtron Man. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is just sort of the, the zero's point is I want to focus on a couple things. And, and what I'm focusing on are the parts where, you know, we've both, I'm sure, discussed this kind of thing before, and we know that you fall into certain arguments, certain back and forths, and it can just get in a circle, and you're just going in a circle, and that can be very frustrating. And there's a cynical and a more positive way to view the knowledge that we get of these paths that we retread. Okay, the cynical thing is, oh, it's, it's going to be this way, and you know how it's going to turn out, and you're not going to get anywhere. The positive thing to do, though, is to use that knowledge to break the cycles, all right? Now, I think when you have certain issues, these cycles is because of how people's ideas are working, and we need to find things that we have in common. We need to seek out ideas we have in common, <coughs> or at least seek out those ideas where our differences are generating this, this repeating pattern. So the first issue I would have is that for objectivists, there is an issue to consider about the fact that you're more or less anti-subjectivity and you say that things that are subjective aren't true and whatnot. But subjective relates to self and you do believe in self-interest. But subjective and self, I mean, subjective are those, subjective things are those things that relate to the self, that come through the self. So there's a problem there that you have the self-interested ethics but you believe things can be objective on the side. Why do you need to go to the self and ask a person what they want if you can objectively figure out everything including what's in their best interest. The other issue that I even more important that I want you to consider and to realize that no you should not as Mr. Cropper did you know, try to pigeonhole me or assume you understand my views of, uh, of self um, comes down to an idea that I've been trying to point out to you uh, about the meaning of the term public versus private. And I think that as objectivists, and including in market anarchists and libertarians, which I know they're different uh, philosophies, but they should all agree on the fact that there isn't anything really public. Just because somebody uh, declares themselves public doesn't mean that they're actually public. You know, they, they can declare anything. But just because there's some other group that isn't able to uh, assert that and, and push them out and make the claim to be the government, um, it doesn't matter. They still don't successfully make that claim, right? It's private organizations uh, all along, people joining them or not joining them, and whether they do something ethical or not is not with re reference to whether they're public. They have to be. Uh, judges any organization as organizations of individuals acting um, as individuals and then collectively together as a group.